I'm R. Sucharita, Government Degree College, Karatabad, Hyderabad, Department of English. A warm welcome to the students of BA, BSc, BCom second year. So now we are going to learn about the poem television, which is written by Roald Dahl. So he is Roald Dahl and this is the television. So today we are going to learn about the summary. The summary of the poem television. So the most important thing we've learned so far as children are concerned is never, never let them near your television set. So here Roald Dahl advises each and every parent that it is very, very important that we should learn. So what should uh, parents learn? They have to learn that children, we should not never, never let children to sit near the television set. Or better still, don't install. And he advises us not to install not to install the television set in our, in our house. Or better, still don't install the idiotic thing at all. And he compares this television set, this television set to an idiotic. Uh, it is an idiotic thing or it is an idiotic box, he says. So we shouldn't, he says. So, in almost every house we've been, we've watched them gaping at the screen. So, each, in each and every house, we see, in each and every house, in each and every house, we see the children, they'll be sitting before the television set and they will be gaping at the screen that means they will be staring they will be staring at the screen they lol that means they'll be sitting in a very relaxed manner or they sit in a very lazy manner and they will be slopping slop slop means they will be in a state of disorder it is not in an ordered state they slop they are in a disordered position and they lounge uh, L O U N G E and they lounge. That means they act or they will be moving in a very lazy way. Children are not at all active before the television set and stare until their eyes pop out. They stare and stare and then they watch and watch and watch for hours together so that their eyes will be popping out, they will be coming out. Last week in someone's place, we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor. So here Roald <coughs> speaks that when they, uh, when they saw last week in somebody's place, a dozen eyeballs, it seems. Okay, so the a dozen eyeballs were on the floor. That means children they are watching and watching and staring and staring and spending hours together their time before the television set they that the eyeballs have come out they sit and stare and stare and sit until they are hypnotized by it and they are hypnotized they are uh, they are really hypnotized by the television set until they are absolutely drunk and then they behave in such a manner that they are drunk they are as uh, a man takes alcohol and after taking the alcohol how does he behave in the same way children are also hypnotized and they are absolutely drunk with all that shocking ghastly junk Ghastly means it is extremely unpleasant, very pleasant and very bad. Junk is the useless 
uh, or very cheap shoddy material with all that their brains are filled up okay so very cheap and with very useless things uh, they are filling up their brains so it is very shocking oh yes we know it keeps them still they don't climb out the window sill so they they will be sitting in a still manner okay so they will not be roaming or the on the roads or they will not be doing any mischievous uh, things in the house and they will not be climbing uh, towards the window sill so that is why parents they uh, in order to do their work also in order to be uh, in uh, uh, order to be very safe what do they do uh, they will be allowing their children to sit before the window uh, before the sorry before the television so they never fight or kick or punch if they sit before the television in the front of the television they will not fight and they will not kick or they will not punch okay. and they will be leaving their parents uh, free to do their work and to cook for the lunch and mommy she will be leaving their uh, her kids or children to sit before the television and she'll be busy in doing her kitchen duties and then uh, she will what she will be doing she will be cooking for the lunch and she will be washing the dishes in the sink but did you ever stop to think to wonder just exactly what this does to your beloved tot okay you are very safe in doing your work when you make your children sit before the uh, before the television set but you do he he advises here did you ever think did you stop and think they, this is the question put by uh, roll dal to wonder just exactly what this does to your beloved tot your children or your little children what happens to them what happens to your beloved tot tot is the small child what happens to him did you ever think it rots the sense it uh, rots the sense in the head so their sense their sense will be rotted okay so the their sense will uh, they they will not work it kills imagination dead so little children they get so many imaginations in their mind and when they are completely involved in watching the television the imaginations are completely dead the the this watching it kills it kills the little children's imagination it clogs that means it blocks and it clutters clutters means uh, it uh, to fill a place with the things which are not organized that are not organized so the the brain will be in a clutter very it will be in a very clumsy manner it makes a child so dull and blind and uh, it also makes children very very dull they become dull and they become blind he can no longer understand he cannot understand he he doesn't know what is a fantasy he doesn't understand what is a fairy land his brain becomes as soft as cheese watching and watching there is no activity uh, there is no activity to the brain so what happens to the child's brain it becomes very soft like the cheese his powers of thinking they are rusted and they are frozen his powers of thinking rust and freeze so that is why all all these lines in the poem they are written in block letters he cannot think he only sees he just uh, he'll be opening his uh, mouth and he'll be just uh, staring like that so all right you cry all right you'll say but if we take the set away what shall we do to entertain so you will be telling all right okay and you will be crying and you will be saying all right but 
if we take the set away if we remove that idiotic box completely from the home or if you don't install it at all then what happens so uh, what shall we uh, you will be thinking that what shall we do to entertain how shall we entertain our darling children please explain this may be your question but we'll answer this by asking you what used to the darling ones to do how used to they uh, keep themselves contented before this monster was in invented so the television is compared with the monster like uh, it is like a devil so when this monster before it was uh, when it was not invented at that time what uh, what would your uh, darling do so uh, how were they contented or how were they happy and how were they satisfied have you forgotten don't you know so did you forget what happened when the television sets were not invented uh, don't you know this is the question put by roll dal we'll say it's very loud and slow it's very very loud and it is very slow they used to read the red and red so well, what they would do they would take the books and they'd read they would read and read and read and read that's all they would go on uh, that means they were engaged completely in reading they would read all kinds of books and then proceed to read more some more and they would proceed to read some more some more so like that they they were involved in the habit of uh, reading great scott gadzooks so uh, we have seen the meaning of this uh, uh, great uh, great scott gadzooks that means it is the expression of surprise or amazement okay so it is uh, such amazing and it is so surprising one half their lives was reading books okay so half of the life in those days when the televisions were not in invented their lives were spent in reading books the nursery shelves held books galore so all the nursery shelves in the uh, in the kindergarten schools or in the primary schools they were uh, uh, they were held with books galore galore means it is in abundance very plenty books were in plenty books cluttered up the nursery floor so everywhere in the nursery schools you would see all the books all the books were scattered they were scattered on the nursery on the nursery floors uh, that is on the uh, on the floor everywhere you can see and in the bedroom by the bed more books were waiting to be read so if you want to go and see in the bedroom there were only books and waiting to be read such wondrous fine fantastic tales so you can see so many wonderful fantastic tales so they they were tales of dragons and they were tales of gypsies gypsies means nomads and they were tales of queens and whales whales are very big fishes and treasure isles and distant shores distant uh, uh, shores all these are the fantastic tales they would read where smugglers rode with muffled oars o a r s oars oars means the poles which are used to steering boats to steer the boats and pirates were wearing purple pants and sailing ships and elephants and cannibals cannibals are the man eaters or the people eaters are called as cannibals and then crouching crouching means uh, adopting a pose a po posture where knees are bent and upper body is brought forward that is called as crouching i hope you understood so round the pot stirring away at something hot so like that they would spend their time 
in reading fantastic books and tales or oh, books what books they used to know those children living long ago so please oh please we beg we pray go through your tv set away so you have to throw your tv set away so here roll the he is telling and he is begging us he is beseeching oh please please we are begging you we are praying you you have to go and throw those television sets away and in its place you can install a lovely bookshelf on the wall so instead of uh, instead of this uh, television set you yeah, have if you go and sell that television set in that place you have to install a lovely bookshelf and you have to fill up all those bookshelves with lots of books so that you can ignore all the dirty looks from the television uh we and not only that we will be hearing the screams and the yelling and the bites and kicks and the children will be hitting you with sticks when they see all all kinds of rubbish in the te- television or uh, filling their uh, brain with all these clumsy things so fear not because we promise you that in about a week or two of nothing uh, of having nothing else to do they'll now begin to feel the need so one day two day three days it becomes uh, difficult for the children but uh, that is about a week or two but after that there is nothing else to do now what will the children do they will start they will start reading the books of having something to read and once they start oh boy oh boy so once they start reading the books and uh, Uh, he 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 expresses here the exclamation oh boy oh boy you watch the slowly growing boy and you will be watching that boy slowly he will be growing with joy joy is the happiness and the children they will be filled uh, their hearts will be filled with joy and they'll grow so keen they it is a healthy lifestyle and uh, they become so healthy and their minds become healthy when they start uh, reading these books they'll wonder what they'd never ever seen in that ridiculous machine so tv it is compared that idiotic box it is compared to a, a ridiculous machine that is it is a very silly machine that nauseating so nauseating means i told you that it is a feeling like vomiting okay so seeing and seeing watching and watching hours together the children they feel like vomiting that means their uh, their health will also get spoiled and then that foul a uh, very bad and unpleasant unclean a repulsive is extremely un- unpleasant television screen and later each and every kid will love you more for what you did so once you uh, remove that uh, television set from your home and install a lovely bookshelf on the wall and when children when they start reading the books then later that is when uh, these kids when uh, when they come to an understanding or when they become an adult really they will be loving you more and more for what you have done in their lives and they will be uh, reverent they they will be respecting you for what you have done so this is the explanation of the poem television thank you